what use of this what use is this going to have in the social sec social sector that's another that's the that's the point in which the marketing wing of the UID I give so much attention let me put it this way UID AI is incompatible with a particular kind of state policy UID AI UID the UID number will become compatible only if public policy is molded in a particular way what is that i think uid will work well only when the state wants to shift from the direct provision of services to an indirect provision of services okay that's when uid becomes extremely import important it it becomes important when the state wants to move from universal systems of social service provision to targeted systems of uh, social service provision that's when uid becomes required becomes uh, becomes necessary when there is universal system of provision identity theft becomes less of a problem than when you have a targeted system it's when you have a targeted system that you want to make sure that there are no errors of inclusion error of inclusion comes in when somebody who should not be in the list comes in and uh, uh, acquires that service that's something which a fiscally conservative government of the of of, of, of governments of the current era simply do not want i'll tell you give you an example uh, for prime minister manmohan singh was speaking at the national development council meeting on the july 24th 2010 he says to reduce our fiscal deficit in the coming years that is to compress expenditures government expenditures to reduce our fiscal deficit in the coming years we must be reducing the scale of untargeted subsidies that means universal subsidies we must be reducing the scale of untargeted subsidies the operationalization of the unique identification number scheme provides an opportunity to target subsidies effectively and thus reduce fiscal deficit so right from the top of the government the world view that drives uh, the necessity of the uid number is one to cut government expenditure on social services cut and and to move from universal systems of service provision to targeted systems of service provision again i'll give you another example let's take the case of the public distribution system the uid is talking about a uh, portable pds which they can have that means you you are an indian citizen you can go anywhere and you can go to any place of india and then buy food grains that is in your allocated quota okay because you have fingerprints because you go to any of these five lakh ration shops you simply put your fingerprint it will identify you as you and then you can buy your quota from anywhere in india and they say that this will actually benefit migrant workers a lot okay i this has a this is of course uh, uh, i have written once about it this is deceptively attractive okay this is deceptively attractive for a particular reason because it is it completely hides the world view that's behind this thought it, it, it sort of under the garb of uh, providing a benefit to migrant workers something extraordinarily dangerous is being put forward which is the following assume a ration shop system that you have today it is basically stationary non mobile ration shops every village uh, about 400 to 500 households will be registered or maybe more in larger villages will be registered under a ration shop the, the the fair price shop owner that is the ration shop owner would be getting grains uh, uh, getting uh, storing grains only for uh, allocations vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, with regard to these 400 500 registered household people now what happens when a migrant household comes in when a migrant household comes in and says i would like to buy grain from here the shop owner is most likely to say no i have stock no i don't have stock for you i have stock for people who are in this village so i can't give you so you'll turn him away this is going to happen okay and that, that and that's that's the way to go this is why i'm saying uid is incompatible with the present system of ration shops when will it become compatible it becomes compatible when you don't have ration shops when you don't have ration shops and you actually allow normal grocery shops to accredit themselves with the government or civil supplies department and provide food grains to people on demand using either a food stamp or a food coupon that's the only that, that's the only way uid will work any common sensical person will tell you that uid will, if you want a system of uid to be portable and to to work in a portable pds as they would like to call it you will not have ration shops Am I saying this? I am mean, I having a conspiratorial worldview, and I am saying this. Please don't think there is a right at the UID AI website. There is a document called UID and PDS. If you go and read it, 
right at the top it tells you that this works optimally this works optimally when we have either a food stamp scheme or a conditional cash transfer scheme okay in other words what the the uid is being thought about as being compatible with a kind of public policy a nature of the state which is which is retreating from the social sector which moves from direct provision of social services to indirect provision of social services which actually moves from universal system of provisions to targeted systems of provision that's when uid becomes necessary to reduce untargeted subsidies and thus reduce expenditure and fiscal deficit i'll give you another quote funny as it may be but i i, I think you sh you people should uh, should uh, sort of uh, listen to this quote this, this is this coming directly from nandan nilekani nandan nilekani points out that in the indira gandhi years we used to talk about garibi hatao then it became roti kapda makan right then it became bijli sadak pani okay these slogans he says are pass p a s s e pass okay outdated the in thing he says the in thing is the new slogan the new triad he talks about which is the uid number bank account number mobile phone number so funny it is <laughs> okay the ui in the in the area of security national security in the in, in the in the in the area of invasion of private lives okay in the questions of privacy so civil liberties you actually need at less sophisticated okay i believe and in the case of developmental social sector you actually need more of a state okay uid scheme is right opposite to this okay where you actually don't need the state national security privacy civil liberties the state is going to be extremely invasive in this where you actually need the state developmental sector social security sector is going to be retreating and this is going to be the irony that the uid project is going to present before you once its operations thank you yeah.